Hey everyone, it's a bit wet outside, but you know what? It's a good time to check out the finish on the coupe and see if that uh, clear coat is working. Now yeah, it looks good from a distance. So what was the first thing? The first thing I did was the grill shell. It's holding up nicely. There's a little spot at the edge there, but that's where it was rubbing when I was putting this fender in and out. Now this is just a couple of coats of clear coat. Nothing fancy, no primer, just a bit of the, uh, what do you call it? The paint thinner beforehand. Then I did the hood which is obviously just having rain sitting on it constantly and again it's holding up pretty good pretty much perfect actually no change at all so that's good then I did this fender as you can see it's fine also again a little bit of scraping there that needs uh, addressed at some point but nothing major nothing collecting around there which is nice and of course this fender that I just did it's fine oh, wait a minute there's a wee bit there I think I actually missed a bit of paint along there and there so eh, nothing major all in all quite pleased with the, that clear cut it cost all in maybe $20 to do the whole lot, including the discs to grind it down and the paint to put it on, so not bad, not bad. Right, I need to decide what I'm going to do today. It's really quite moist, as uh, Justin Trudeau would say. <laughs> so I'll be working moistly today. So I already have the driver's side rear fender I sanded down and clear coated, so I may as well do his friend. Passenger side. That shouldn't take long. Needs a little bit of welding work. Nothing major. There's a big crack down there. So I'll maybe just add a couple of tacks on that today before I completely run out of the old uh, shielding gas. I need to replace that bottle. Hopefully Friday. If the store is open, even curbside pickup for that will be fine. Right, let me set up this 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 uh, fender for some grinding. Shouldn't take long. Coffee break. Right, this fender is not the best. 
I mean it's structurally sound but as you can see the the corrosion is deep how deep is your corrosion this I'll just tack that up but as you can see it's it's really quite quite badly pitted I did attack it with the proper sander on the grinder just to see I mean it will still be shiny but there's a hint of brown right from rust strangely the top is actually really good condition which is weird and then it gets crappy again at the, at the front so I'm gonna try some rust converter which will miraculously turn it into that no it won't I know it won't uh, but it will turn the brown hint the, the tint of brown it will turn black and I think I'd rather have it black pitted than brown pitted at this stage so I will brush some of that stuff on and let it dry and see how it looks and then I'll drink my coffee actually I weld that up first because no doubt that stuff's highly flammable so I don't want to paint that on and then weld that and set the place on fire so I'll do a wee this shouldn't take too long hopefully I won't end up with a hole that size <laughs> and then I'll just take it easy That'll do. It was never going to just disappear. So if I keep on grinding, I'll end up going through the through the original metal. So that'll do for now. It's fine. Okay, let's try some of this magical fluid. one-handed no less did I shake that? let's just give it a wee shake make it nice and frothy oh great why do they put childproof caps in these? I don't have any children in the garage stupid oh that's way too much Right, 
brush. Little dollar brush from Home Depot. Uh, I suppose you should try a wee bit first, right? <laughs> Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Wow, that stuff smells bad. I wonder if it's out. I wonder if it's even got a use by date. Smells of eggs. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> no, having a curry tonight. Right, I'm going to try it up here as well. Might as well do the whole lot, eh? Oh, it's certainly highlighting the crap. Yeah, I think I'd rather have it black and silver than brown and silver. So. Right, now we wait. Right, while we're waiting, let's let's talk about this door situation. That one there. First of all, blown away by the amount of uh, advice and help I'm getting for that. Everyone's sending me emails of pictures and how it's supposed to be, <laughs> how it could be, but that's not how it's going to be, I'm afraid. Uh, let's take a closer look and I'll I'll show you what I'm what I've decided on. Okay, and I'm not ignoring your awesome advice. It's just that it's not worth the effort. Uh, for for the moment, for the look I'm going for, it, it doesn't need to be as perfect as uh, as some of you guys are telling me how to do it. That doesn't make sense, but I'll show you. So, my original idea, cutting it down the middle, quarter inch out, closing it up again. So, you were suggesting that uh, I trim a bit along here, trim a bit along here, which would make it fit, except it won't because the inside of the door section is still too wide. You know, um, this section here, going all the way down, echo, 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 would still be too close. So I would need to trim this whole section off, move it in, and the same with that side. I'd need to chop it all the way down there and move it all in, stitch it all up. That's just, that's just craziness. It also means that this whole section here is lost its shape. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the best I can for now and keep my eyes open for a new door. But for now, sorry guys. I'm chopping it down the middle, quarter inch out, close it up, because there's nothing, there's nothing on the inside, you know, there's no structure there, so it's relatively easy to do, it's just whether or not I can get it, you know, looking nice enough and straight, but the metal's good, so I should get a decent weld and be able to grind it down flat, okay, that's that out of the way, as I, as I said. I'm not ignoring your ideas, it's just not worth that amount of work for a sort of ratty custom hot rod that I'm building for now, okay? It is time for today's shout out and today's shout out goes to Desert Rat 2000, he's got a very nice 55 Chevy truck and he is in Eastern Washington. He's been helping me a lot through emails and private messages. So do me a favor, go and check out his channel. Hit subscribe, just, you know, bump up those subscriptions, please. Keep that community going strong. Thank you. Good news, bad news. 
Good news is it's definitely turned the pitted areas black rather than brown. Bad news, where it's hit the bare metal that I uh, ground down, it's turned it to uh, almost like primer grey. So that sucks. I tried cleaning it off with just some paint thinner and a cloth and then I tried a scotch bright pad and a bit of thinner and nope, it's not working. So back to the back to the little poly strip disc. I hope it works, otherwise we're in trouble. Well, I'm in trouble. You guys are just laughing. Especially the ones that knew that was gonna happen, right? Well that was a mistake I'll try never to do again. Basically I had to re-sand the whole thing. <laughs> anyway. I think it's actually shinier now. Which is nice. So maybe the plan for the future is use the rusty stuff, the anti-rust stuff first and leave it on for a few hours and then attack it. But of course, you all know that. Why didn't you tell me? Oh yeah, you couldn't. Alright, I'll give that a quick clean and paint and get it back on the vehicle. I put the other one on because I kept on tripping over it. And then after that, after that, it's going to be door time. It's supposed to brighten up for the rest of the week. We shall see. Okay, that's that painted. Right, before I forget, a wee handy tip for you if you're in Canada. This is the home brand Princess Auto cheapo paint, okay, that I'm using. It goes on fine, but it drips like a mofo. So if you want a good paint job, don't use that. Unless you're going for the drippy look, okay. Right, let me slap this on the car. Well, I don't know if it's dry yet. Ah, dry enough. Right, I'll get that in the car. Okay, we have symmetry. Kind of. Certainly better than the rusty brown it was. Just need to get these doors and the body done. And the trunk lid. We're getting there guys, we're getting there. Yeah, I'd like to get rid of the the red oxide on the roof. It's a bit of a patchwork. I'm digging it, as Rat Rod Bob would say. Oh, I nearly forgot. I got more stuff. More stuff! Right. More plastic for the landfill. Right. We have fuel pipe. Warning. Cancer and reproductive harm. Oh, I'm not going to ram it up my inside. And we have more brake line. Now I've got some brake line that hopefully I can reuse. This is the same same diameter and the same NICOP stuff. Very, very easy. Very easy to work with. Very forgiving. And finally, I got my header flanges. Now you notice these are the flat ones as opposed to the sort of uh, beveled ones. So they go flat against the headers. I, that's exactly what I needed. It's kind of weird though. Pretty sure it said it reduces it from three inch to two and a half. I don't see much reduction there. Uh, let's just check that, shall we? Upside down. Oh no, it is. Two and a half. Slap. For God's sake. <sighs> okay, I take it back. Spot on. So I will try them out tomorrow, I guess. And... 
Oh my god, what am I working on? I've got so much. I'd love to get that engine hooked up and fired up, but ah, we're, a, we're a still a bit far away from that. As so much as I would love it. Okay folks, that's me for today. Tune in tomorrow. No idea what I'm doing. It's either going to be door work or... Or I don't know. Probably door work though. Okay, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.